up you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I am really excited because today we announced who the winners of the giveaway was. So the winners of the giveaway are Mario Navarro and the S word. So Mario, you will be getting the pre-PA boot camp that is presented by Ross Review and the S word you will be getting none other than the GRE prep by Magoosh. So please send me an email at adonthepa.com to claim your prize. I will verify like you are who you say you are um, so please everybody else who may have entered or you might want to like get this prize um, do not send me an email there um, unless you are Mario Navarro or the S word and I will again obviously have your pictures up up here so uh, if you are interested in entering the future giveaways as I stated this will be done monthly next month will be for my PA students so you guys stay tuned um, throughout the course of this month to see exactly what that giveaway will be um, and then the following month will be back to my pre PAs and since you guys seem to really like this um, you know GRE prep slash the the boot camp I'll incorporate that within these upcoming giveaways okay all right so this video um, again was asked by one of you guys I'm really excited it was asked by Yanni Layden and she's wanted to know like how did I get into trauma um, how did I get my job and so that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video let's get into it how you got this job. What was your experience before PA school? I'd love to go into trauma. So um, if you guys don't already know, if you haven't really been following me on this journey, um, you may not know that I am a trauma PA. Um, and if you have not been following me on this journey, please you guys subscribe to my channel because that really helps my YouTube algorithm along with liking my videos. So please do those two things for me because it will help my YouTube go far and be promoted to other people who may not know about the PA profession and you know Adam the PA so please do that for me but um, yeah you know I'm in trauma I'm actually in acute care surgery so I not only do trauma um, I cover for vascular and thoracic surgery as well along with general surgery uh, I work 24 hours in um, in my shift and I do that three times in a 14 day period so it's a pretty sweet deal I really like it it gives me a lot of time to kind of you know be with my family and you know run you know down the PA and get that to university and do things like that that I'm really passionate about doing um, along with still providing care for others so how did I get into this profession I mean on well not really profession but more so this specialty and honestly like it it was really I had a really easy road and you know not everything is this easy you're not especially when it comes to trauma like so your surgical subspecialties like trauma and just general surgery in general along with like cardiothoracic surgery or women's health all of these like specialties are a little bit more difficult to get into as a new grad because they typically want experience and when I say experience we're talking like three to five years of experience so for me to get this job in trauma it was really a blessing and like I can't chalk that up to anything but God okay like it it happened really really organically um, I did all of my rotations at the hospital that I work at I spent maybe around like eight or so months there so they've got to really know me work know my work ethic um, you know know what I was about as a person um, know my attitude and see if I fit with um, you know the people that I would potentially be working with you know in a year and a half from th that time which actually was like not even known to me I guess you could say or them but it was good because essentially you make and you build these bridges and it's a great thing to do to not burn these bridges that you have when you're going through your rotations so how I got into this uh, this specialty was really through my rotations you guys and that's why when you are in PA school and your school allows you to either do an outside rotation somewhere or you're doing a rotation where your school has placed you make sure that you are building these bridges make sure that you are building relationships and having experiences that are good because ultimately these are the people that are going to be vouching for you you might um, ask them for a recommendation letter for a job that you will be applying for 
or you might be going to them for a job. And so it's essential that you're actually making sure that the impression that you're leaving on them is a good one. And so that is really what I did. Um, you know, I was very purposeful in ensuring that I did all of my rotations in an area that I wanted to practice in, um, in the DMV area. I went to school in Virginia, but I lived in Maryland prior to going to school and so I wanted to stay in that DMV area and Because of that I did all of my rotations there I built my relationships there and then when it came time now to apply for jobs Of course I applied everywhere, you know, I applied all over to various different places there various different specialties um, I wasn't really picky. I knew areas that I didn't want to work um, so I obviously didn't pl apply in those areas, but Every other area was fair game and open. And so I applied to all these different positions and then interviewed and kind of just went through and made sure that the position, the money that I was being offered, um, the hours that I was being asked to work, um, any call that I was being asked to take, it all fit well with what I wanted for my life and my lifestyle. And so this kind of really just fell in my lap. Um, I applied. Um, actually, what happened was I was doing a, um, I was doing like a, like a pre-PA, pre-healthcare type of um, conference at the NIH and my friend had invited me because she was being invited to do this every year. I had actually done my rotations with her in women's health and she was like, hey, you know, what's going on? Do you want me to talk to, you know, my boss for you um, to see if, you know, you can get a job because I know that we have some openings in like surgery and trauma and I was like, yeah, sure, you know, like it's not going to hurt anything. And so like she reached out to him for me and then he like ca like called me uh, cause he had my phone number from when I pestered him about rotations and he was like, Hey, you know, um, she told me that you were interested in this job. Did you still, did you want to apply? And I'm like, absolutely. You know, like I'm a new grad, of course I want to apply. And so I sent him my resume, I applied, um, and then he called me in like the next week for uh, an, a face-to-face -face interview and it was very like, you know, pretty just kind of lax and chill because I already knew the system, I already knew the hospital. Um, so it was just really getting me information on what the job entailed and what I would be expected to do. Um, I went to two other kind of in-person shadowing interviews at the job, um, realized like, yeah, this is dope, I really like it. Um, at the the time I was applying for general surgery, but uh, the the teams were in the process of merging to acute care surgery, and so um, in that I knew that I would be cross training with trauma, but thought I would be doing that maybe six months down the line, not once I actually started. But once I started, I was right there in the trauma bay, um, learning about traumas, learning how to run traumas. And so uh, I got hired uh, in February. I didn't start working until April because of credentialing. I was right in the trauma bay come you know April throughout the rest of my time. And I've been a trauma slash acute care surgery PA ever since. So that is exactly how I got into trauma and I got my job. Um, I built the bridges. I built relationships. Um, I wasn't a jerk because some of times, you know, there are PA students that go on these rotations. You think you know it all. You're not there to learn. You're not there to listen. You're just kind of there to check off a box. And, um, you know, that's not necessarily what a preceptor wants to see. I showed that I was eager to learn and I ensured that I kept these relationships. Um, on every rotation that I left, I made sure that I sent a thank you card uh, f and dropped off like a little gift to them, like be it some like donuts or cookies or something. Obviously this was like pre-COVID times, but I did that um, just to ensure that they realized like, hey, I really appreciate them taking the time out to teach me and help me learn what their specialty was all about. Um, and I think those little minute things really count. I think it's important for you to ensure that you're making these connections um, so that you're memorable because really and truly like so many students are passing through. Um, so you want to make sure that you're one of the memorable ones. So that is what I did. That's how I got my job. Um, I will be doing like kind of like a day in the life of a trauma PA in the upcoming weeks. I've, you know, filmed some stuff about that already. And so I'll be like 
putting that video together for you guys. So stay tuned for that. You'll see exactly, you know, like me talking about exactly what I'm doing throughout the day. So hopefully you guys will like that. Um, the only way that you'll know when that video comes out is if you hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and do that for me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, stay tuned for the other giveaways. They will always be at the end of the month. So ensure that you're coming back for that. Please, you guys check out Get That to University. We have a lot to offer, some virtual shadowing stuff, consultation sessions, personal statement reviews. You, you, you got it. We got it for you, okay? So go on over to getthatstouniversity.com right now and check us out. Leave a comment in the comment section below on what you might want to see um, and please follow me on Instagram and on the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.